Hi, I'm Brian Vance, Sport by Dragger.com, and today we're going to do a product review on the Bell Qualifier DLX helmet. That is the one to my left. I have a standard qualifier to my right, so we can kind of compare because I think the lines blurred a little bit, and we'll explain to you what makes this one so much different. Pricing is going to go from $229 to 249 Available sizing is going to span small all the way up to 2XL. No restocking fees here at STG. If you get the helmet, try it on, leave the stickers on before you ride in the helmet, verify you are happy with the fit, you'll avoid all the fees, all the hassle if you take the time to do that before you ride in it. Free shipping for any order over $40 to the lower 48 United States with really affordable international rates. Okay, first thing we're going to do, we're going to benchmark the sizing on this. 58 centimeters, intermediate oval, a medium fits me perfectly in the qualifier. DLX helmet. It is ECE 2205 as well as DOT certified. It weighs in a medium 3.45 pounds. It utilizes a lightweight polycarbonate shell. I want to take a minute now and compare this with the standard qualifier. First, huge difference. This one comes with a transition shield included. That is the one that changes from clear to tinted all on its own. The most popular selling helmet shield we have in the shop is that Bell Transition Shield. $119 value included with this helmet. So that's one of the biggest reasons for the price spread between the standard qualifier and the DLX. But there's a lot more than just that. Ventilation on the DLX. We're picking up more here. We've got the brow vent. We've got the two top vents. This one does not have the brow vent. Ventilation in the chin. Exhaust vents in the back are fixed Venturi style. You'll also lose a little bit through the neck roll. I've got a couple down here as well. Another obvious difference. This helmet is communication compatible at a very high level. It accepts the Bell Cena SMH10 as well as the Cardo Scala Rider Q1 or Q3. Right, right here in the side there is a cover that is removable that allows you to install that device right there and have it fixed to your helmet like integrated which is pretty slick for sure available option if you don't want to use that the close out plate is held in place securely and just rock the helmet straight up another big difference in my opinion is the quality of the interior right as well as the shape Look at the size of the neck roll here. The neck roll and the cheek pads are all integrated here, much larger. That's going to seal out the road noise a lot more. We've got higher end fabrics over here. We also have included a chin curtain. So there are major, major differences between those two helmets. Even though at a glance, they appear to be very similar. Okay, so we've already covered our ventilation, right? Certification, weight, all those things. The shield, the transition thing rocks. This shares the same shield that we'll use on the RS1 as well as the Star, right? Great mechanism, easy on, easy off. Good field of vision with a wide eye port. We've got our breadth deflector here. The interior is removable, washable, replaceable. We'll start with that chin curtain. It is simply snapped into place. It's held in place very tightly. Not going to lose that while you're riding the cheek pads. Got snaps, a little bit of Velcro, double D ring fastener for the chin strap. Go ahead and open that up. Give you a look at the interior here. Good quality. Just like with all the rest of the Bell products, we'll pull the other side out. It's just a mirror image. Okay, cheek pads are out. Top pad also removable. Got two snaps at the back. Come to the front. Two snaps there as well. And out comes our top pad. So good quality liner. Now, inside the helmet. Let's kind of give you a look here at the EPS. You can see all the channeling that's built in for cooling. And then there, of course, is access that's built in over here, right? You've got removable EPS 
for access to that communicator port on the outside so you can integrate that all with the helmet. Of course, there are molded into the EPS chan or, or like a channel there for the actual speaker itself. When I look at this EPS on this helmet, this really reminds me quite a bit of some of the old shark helmets where they have grooved out the EPS. It helps with airflow and it also helps to manage energy in the event of a crash. $229 where this helmet starts. You're getting a good looking lid, lots of ventilation, high quality interior, and a $120 helmet shield. You know, I think the communicator ready stuff is cool. I don't know that everybody's going to take advantage of that, but even if that's not something that's really on your radar, you don't want to use that, this is still an absolutely phenomenal helmet. Great value. You'll be stoked. It's a lot of helmet for the dollar. This is the Bell Qualifier DLX Helmet.